This is the third lesson of Process Grid Component Training 1. And in this lesson, we're going to add a quantity entry field that can be edited in the grid, and then we're going to link the process grid to a PO receipt transaction and actually complete business transactions in the grid. I'm logged into the project Process Grid Component Training 1. We're going to copy Lesson 2 to Lesson 3. Lesson 2, Expected Receipts, to Lesson 3. In this one, we're going to call this Adding Quantity Entry and receipt tricks. Now this is the first time we actually added a transaction to a process grid so we're actually going to be able to execute something. And we're going to keep the values checked the way they are. So we're not going to change anything here. We're going to make another SQL change. We're going to make room for an entry field. So really all we're going to do is we're going to say 0.0, .0 as received. Now in SQL, uh, it's very important to say 0.0, .0 if you want to have decimal entry as your values. If I were to just put zero as quantity received, then I would not be able to do decimal. So if I really want to do all integer receiving, then that would be fine. Test the query. Make sure there's no errors. We already did our filters. And now we're going to add a button. It's going to be a transaction called PO Receipt. Oops, covered that up. And we're going to define it. Now, with the uh, processing grid, we have startup queries, which I've really not done before. Um, you can do header queries, which would be, or a header transaction, which would be done at the beginning of the transaction, and detail done inside the detail of the transaction, and then a footer. Footers would probably be uh, more like printing a crystal report or something like that. So we're going to add a transaction, and it's going to be the PO receipt, and. This list of transaction continues to grow. The intent is to have every object that uh, Weiss has defined in here. And at this point, they're not all defined, but they will be. The return error message is the only method parameter. Method parameters uh, need to be defined. And it's just going to return as the error message, which we'll use in a minute. The only thing I have here is, I get, and I'm going to go down through them, is I have closed line. Actually, this is something unique to Weiss that we added to the PO object. You've never, you can't close a line in Macolo, but what we do, if you close a line uh, and you make that true, then um, we move the remaining quantity that's left, that's not received, to, um, I believe, quantity rejected. Um, and then um, we update the on order quantity and the uh, expected quantity so that the order line looks like it's completed. And this is going to be a default to false. Cost is, well, order number would be the next value that we would really have to have, obviously. And it's just going to be the order number. Cost, I could go get the cost from the view, 
But, and we do this in many places, uh, an order entry where you need a cost or an inventory transactions. A minus one tells us to go get the cost for you. So we'll just go get that, exp that will just become the expected cost from the PO line. And we have to have the line number. Don't have to have comments, have to have the vendor. Have to have the location, which is actually the move to. The quantity is going to be that new field we put in. Received. And it's zero, zero, but we're going to allow you to enter that field. Default. And this is going to be the current user that we go and get for you. And then the item number is going to come from the view. And we're going to save that. And then here under post transaction failed message, we're going to put failed error message. Remember, we returned the error message. So if something happens, which I'll show you how that works, we'll actually return an error message failure. Now, here's a new area this edit fields. We're going to actually we're going to take the received and make it an edit field. There's nothing we really have to define for that. It's just going to be an open edit field. And we'll preview that. And our receive field, I need to move back in here. This is a, a field we can actually edit. So 6200 has a horn. Now, if you know Macola bike data, a horn is bin and lotted. So if I receive two of the horn, it would really be an illegal entry. Pins required for this transaction, none were included. So it's telling me it's an illegal transaction. Forty two hundred, we have a bolt. And a bolt, if you know Macola data, is not bend and not lot and we know that because we also have the ends N and N here for the fields. So we can receive that. And that's successfully received and we get a check mark in return. And that's the end of that lesson. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial and I encourage you to move on to the next video tutorial in this series.